hot, hot, hot. Hey guys, welcome to our house in our kitchen. I'm the penguin. I'm the chef. And today is the day that a lot of you have been waiting for. We're gonna be doing the two times hot and spicy noodle challenge. She's gonna be doing it, not me. I'm gonna be doing it, Penguin's doing it, and we are going to be doing this in collaboration with the husband over at Appalachian Blue Ridge Cooking. We're gonna see who's just the big talker or who can really get the job done. I'm gonna be the first to say I'm a little worried about it. Not, not saying that uh, uh, she helped me eat anything when I had to eat all that nasty food on that other mukbang she made me do, but I bought these tapios. Tapatio. Like, tapatio extra spices. And so I'm gonna make them too, and I'm just gonna try a bite. Cause I'm a wood when it comes to eat, I'll be the first to admit. Yeah, yeah. he's just doing it for sympathy. Yeah, sympathy pain. Yeah, a sympathy pain. So, what we have, and he drug out all this other spicy stuff, like he's trying to intimidate me, right? Well, we ate spicy stuff before, so you did. I have also said, as I've gotten older, my taste buds have changed. Got, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it or not. We got this the last time we were at the Pepper Palace in uh, Pigeon Forge. Five pepper salsa. Let me tell you what, guys. If you don't mix this down with a whole bunch of cream cheese to eat it, it's too hot for me. Yeah, it says we don't need no stinking sweet salsa. That's what it says on the label right there, that little tyrant. That's the last <laughs> that we got left. It's heat and not sweet. And while we were trying to decide what to do for this challenge, I found this El... Triple X. Yeah, extra hot chili habanero, El Yucca Teco. Whatever it is. It looks really hot. I might try some of it one day on something or use it blend it down in a in a thing because it's a salsa verde kind of hot so he acted like he was gonna put that in my bowl of noodles that's not happening so right here is gonna be the star of the show this is the same noodles that they have over at Appalachian Blue Ridge cooking this is the two times spicy hot chicken flavored ramen this is the ones that they have so infamously done the noodle challenge on some people succeed and some people fail. What I've seen most people do is two packets. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, these are bigger than your normal package of ramen noodles. We usually microwave ours, and I don't know if we're gonna be able to microwave these or not, because they are bigger. I think a traditional size ramen noodle packet is about three ounces, and I think... Okay. Um, I think he said over at Blue Ridge that these are about 4.5 ounces. I'm not sure. I'm not really seeing 4. it. 4.34. 4.34. 4. 4. 4. Oh, there it is right down there hidden in the corner. 4.94 ounces in one of these, and I think it's like three in a regular pack of ramen. This is our microwave bowl we use for you, and they will sit down in the bowl. But I don't know if I can get both of them into this bowl. We'll get it in there because I don't want to eat out of two separate bowls. If I'm going to go in one, I'm going to just go to pack it in there. So, I'm not reading the ingredients because I don't want to because if I do, it's just going to mess with my mind and we're not going to have that happen. Wow. So, don't even go there. Chef's trying to intimidate me again. Inside comes with two packets. This right here is your heat it's the liquid and i can feel it this right here is like seaweed little pieces of nor and sesame seed and stuff there's the seasoning packets this is the seasoning packets this is the part that i dread the most now the directions on the thing says you're supposed to cook them save some pasta water because that helps uh get rid of the heat and you can fry them. You know what? We're not doing that. We're not going to cheat. We're going to play fair. Straight up. He's going to microwave these. Show them there's two packets. There's two packets in there. One under the other. He's going to microwave them for me. Drain and we're going to dry them. Yeah, drain I'll them drain out. them. That's what I mean. Put them in her bowl and she can add the seasoning on camera. Yeah. I will add all of these seasonings on camera in front of you guys onto the dry noodles. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle it or not. 
Am I nervous? You better believe it. Because I just found myself to be a little bit of a, a wimp compared to what I used to be. But you know what? I'm always up for a good challenge and we're gonna give it a try. So as soon as the noodles are done. You can see there, I got water down in the bowl. They're floating, I'm gonna get them in the microwave. As Soon as the noodles are done and drained and in the bowl and ready for the spice, then we'll bring you back. Oh, and Chef wanted me to make sure, because he's keeping tabs, wanted me to make sure that I showed you there's nothing on the inside of the bowl. That's right, and I'm watching, because she didn't help me eat any of that nasty stuff. <laughs> Not even a nibble I could get her to take. It's like he wants to punish me, but no, there's nothing inside the bowl. Nothing at all, no dairy. Like I, I don't said, have any cheese or milk hidden down in there. When hers gets done in the microwave, I'm going to do these Tapatio Extra Spicy. So let's open them up on camera here and see what's in them. Well, it looks like they're already seasoned. They're already seasoned. <laughs> so it says microwave open at halfway at room temperature, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get my reading glasses because my regular glasses won't read it. Yeah, he's got to go get his eyes checked. Yeah, I need new glasses. Uh huh. And I see. was thinking about eating them with chopsticks, but no. I'm well, going to go for it with a fork. Add room temperature water to inside full line. Place in center of microwave, microwave for three minutes. Stir well and enjoy. Cooking time is varied by microwave wattage. Be careful, your tongue will burn off. <laughs> he just added that in because you know that's not true. But he has been. He's been like tormenting me. Like irritating me and tormenting me and I've already admitted I may not be able to do it, but he just keeps gouging and gouging and gouging. Yeah, I had to go that nasty crap because you wanted me to. Ah. Uh, some of that was pretty nasty, you know. Some of it I didn't mind. Pick a big feet and that kind of stuff. Ew. Okay. Yeah, when I got down to some of that fishy stuff and them chicken feet. Just don't think any less of me if I can't do it. Because if I can't do it, I'm not going to kill myself trying. No, I didn't say you had to eat it all. My... Like I said, I was gonna just have you. I'm several, only gonna try. I was just gonna have you eat several hot things, different, to buy a couple bites like The me. challenge is to eat two packages That's of it challenge. without yeah. taking anything That's to drink. That's not the challenge I wanted you to do. I wanted you to eat like seven different things that were hot, just a couple bites. Well, Start. Maybe later on down the road. Plus, I'm also working with, a, I've got an infected tooth right now, so that's going to be... Burned out after this. Yeah, it's going to be affecting me a little bit, but you know what? This is the time to do it, so we are going to do it. But got we've it. got 3 minutes and 29, 27 seconds left on the microwave. And again, he will drain all the water off, and he will show you guys. I'll show you when I'm putting them in the bowl. Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll be back. Guys, we had to flip the camera around. I got my bowl here just waiting. The noodles have 29 seconds left. And then I gotta drain them good. Well, first you have to take a fork and break them apart. Yeah, and really then great. he'll drain them and put them into my bowl. So my I have my shirt on, my which is backwards, I know, my mantra on, noodle bowl with my hot, hot gauge over here. And yes, I am very nervous. I'm not gonna lie. We'll get mine in the microwave as soon as hers comes out. I'm nervous. He's got the strainer to strain the noodles. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just don't know. I'm not. I'm not afraid of that much, but it's been a long time since I've had anything like super de duper spicy. And even my Sri Racha sometimes. You oh. see, steam is rising. Even my Sri Racha sometimes if I add too much, it's like too spicy. Yeah, so. you did that the other day. Yeah, I put too much in something and then I couldn't eat it. So, I'm worried. Yes, I am a little bit. But you know what? It's a challenge, right? That's why they call it a challenge. Either you can do it or you can't. So, good luck to you over at Appalachian Blue Ridge Cooking. See who's the bigger man. Are you all talk? Am I all talk? We'll find out. Okay, I've had them drain, guys. Mix them around a little bit in the bowl. Yeah. So, you know, there's no funny business going on here. They can't quite see. you got to bring it over a little more. Sorry. Okay, just dump it and let's get okay, it over with. Here we go. Okay, no liquid, just oh, noodle. There was just a couple of drops in there. No biggie. Oh, God. Oh, it's a lot God. of noodles. They yes, hold. it's a lot of noodles, yes. One fell on the floor. E you can let them... I mix your stuff and then you can let them... 
the heat wise part to cool off a little bit. Yeah, spicy. can I, do they have to be like hot temperature or just hot spicy? Because it's like you're gonna be hard to eat them if they're like steaming hot too. Nobody ever said anything. It wasn't one or the other. God help me. I don't want to do this. All the other people I've seen watching like Nick and Kyle. This seems stuff. like, can you guys see the noodles? This seems like an awful lot of um, two packages of this hot and spicy stuff for this, this amount of noodles. And I've read that this stuff is like, you don't want to get it on anything. And it's thick. Can you guys see that? It's like thick. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's thick. Hang on, I'm going to try to see if I can adjust the camera a little bit. I'm not going to shut you guys off. I'm just going to try that. Just lower it for a minute. Like those AMS, ASMR people do when they... I'm going to raise you back up when I eat, but... Oh. I don't want to cheat. I'm trying to get all of that out of there that there is. Yeah, that's good. Well, I don't want to get it on my eyeballs and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, they said it stain. It'll stain things too. Better not stain my new shirt. I'm gonna be pissed off. Oh, don't, don't drop any on there then. Don't drop any on there then. Yeah, well, I'll yeah, try. A little bit on the ball. Uh, look at that. E Looks like thick blood. Gross. Uh. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Stick it on this one. It's an empty packet, too. And, and you can put Can your... I wipe my... I gotta make sure I don't rub my eyes. Yeah. Then you can put okay, this is just innocent stuff. This is just the nori, like sesame seeds and stuff like that that you're supposed to put in it. Or they traditionally put in it for flavor. So... I'm going to add that in there. Oh, Lord. Anyway, if you guys can just see, it's the packets that come with it. Oh, Lord. That is like some thick red. Can you guys see that? That is like red, 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 red rum, red rum. Okay, guys, let's bring it back up a little. Oh. I didn't mean for you guys to fall off. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Back on the tripod. Yes, food. And there we go. I know you guys have to have it where you can see me eating. Did you already put both packets in? Yes, both packets are in. Okay. Mine, mine Sorry, boiled, guys. Mine boiled over. Push you back a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, I just got to mix all this crap up. Oh. Don't use that when it's got stuff on it. Don't get it in your eyes. I'm going to try not to get it in my eyeballs. I'm just trying to get it mixed around because I don't want the noodle heat to be... Uh-oh, I just lost one. I don't want the noodle heat to be all focused on one noodle. I'm trying to get it spread for all the noodles. I suck at you. It's just a little piece. There's mine, guys. I can't see it. I can say mine boiled over. I can smell the heat, guys. My eyes. You guys uh, see my eyes? My eyes are already watering. Yeah, you're just freaking yourself out. I'm not. I can. It's like I can smell the heat. I can smell the heat. The first time we went to the Pepper Palace, we were with one of her brothers, and he did their pepper challenge, Oh. and he got a sticker. Well, I didn't, a really, lot of noodle. I really didn't want to do the pepper challenge, but I went around and sampled, because they give you free samples of all this stuff, and I mixed four or five different kinds of things together, and I ate it, and her brother did what I did later, and he goes, heck, that's hotter than what I had to begin with. Well, the next time we went back, that's why I thought I was all, I, I could do this, and then we tried that next one, that, about kill this i couldn't do it whatever was in that pepper stuff was way different than the other store can i have something to drink before i start is that allowed well if you want something just a just a swig you want uh, an ice just water or something just something to make ice it's cold i won't take my first bite immediately i just haven't had a drink for a little bit so 
part of its nerves. Okay. I won't taste it just yet. Let that have a chance. I don't want to do anything. I'm cheating, God forbid. Yeah, I got to let mine set and mix up for a couple minutes. So, did everybody have a great weekend? Mine smells a little hot. Ours was a little. What's it smell like? You just have to. It's hot. Watch. You're going to burn yourself. Yeah. Would you like to smell no. this? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Chef doesn't want to smell it. Okay. All right. Like I said, I, mine came. Yeah, from, it's all mixed in. Mine came from the dollar store. Mine was only a buck for this, so. But like I said, I'm just trying to bite, and even though I'm not on camera, I'll let you know how hot it is. You want me to turn the camera toward you? No, I just said I'm not doing it on camera. But I just, I just let them know what I think. Because I'd say my taste buds for heat are more like the normal person. Okay, guys, it's still hot, but I'm not gonna let it sit forever. Well, you can blow on it while you're. Picking I gotta, it up. I gotta do this. If I don't do it, I won't do it. I'm trying to get them in a good angle where they can see me and also see the the noodle bowl. I think they can see both. <laughs> Okay. This top of tea, it was really good. It's got a good flavor. There is a little heat. I can feel it on the, my tongue and going towards the back of my tongue. I took a pretty good sized long noodle bite. Oh, good Lord. But it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, guys, are we ready? Can I get a countdown? <laughs> Three, two, one. Left off. Houston, we have a problem. See, mine's not that bad. I'm going to take another bite of mine. Because it's got a good flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Napkin. Mmm. The noodles are a little tough. I cooked them for six minutes. Mm. Well, is it hot? Is it mm -hmm. spicy? It's hot. It's too hot for you. Noodles are all chewy. You thought I was cooking them too long. The first bite down. Oh. I'm on my third bite of this stuff. Like I said, I was just doing it for uh, for sympathy reasons, but this is really some good soup. It's got a good flavor. I ain't even kidding, guys. This is. It's got a good flavor and a little bit of burn. So I recommend this tapatio called Extra Spicy Hottest Ramen Noodle Soup Cup. Like I said, they're a dollar at the Dollar oh. Tree. It's got a little heat. It's got some flavor. I ain't even kidding. I'm only like, what, two bites in? One bite. No, I just took another one, too. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, Whew. I'm going to be eating these all day. I'm kidding. I promise. It's like the more you chew them, the hotter it gets. Thank God there's no time limit on this. Welcome oh. to Vlogmas Day 25. I'm kidding. Either you can or you can't. Oh. You can't stop before you get sick. A challenge isn't a challenge unless you try, right, guys? Kudos to all of those that have done this and made it successfully. Oh. 
If you're done, be done, and I'll get you something. I'm trying here. Don't count me out yet. Oh, man. Yeah. I can't do it, guys. You're going to have to find me another challenge. I can't do it. Nasty food. Seven Can I have some kinds. milk, please? Like, hurry. Seven different kinds of nasty food. No. It's like I feel like my throat is burning. I can't prepare. This cup's been in the freezer with milk in it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. The chef has one noodle. Baby, be careful. I ain't even kidding. With the throat problems you have, oh. Yeah, they're undercooked. Should have cooked them more. And it's now like the I more get... I chew the noodle, it's like the harder it was to, it's like the hotter it was getting. And now the heat's coming. I'm good. I'm drinking milk and it's still not. Yeah, well, I just ate one little noodle uh, too. My lips burn. Yeah, my lips are starting to burn. Uh, yeah, them are definitely spicy. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're warm. I confess I'm a wimp. I used to be able to eat, st I could probably eat stuff like this five years ago. Uh -uh. Well, I would have her tire about these tapatillos, but she wouldn't be able to taste them now, I guarantee you. No. Uh -uh. But like I said, this is really good soup with just a little bit of heat. So if you haven't tried the tapatillo spicy, it's called extra spicy hottest, it's good. And it's got a little heat. Not a lot, a little bit. See, around my lips. Red. Yeah, I'll take a sip of that milk now. See, you just have one noodle. It's not, it, I'm not dying, but yeah, it's warm. Oh my God. I can't get it to go away. Mmm. Mmm. Well, good luck to you over at Appalachian Blue Ridge cooking. I hope you've done it because if you have, you're the bigger man than me because I can't do it. We'll try to find something else for me to do, guys, but it just can't be hot and spicy. If you have any suggestions, I can't even talk. Oh. If you have any suggestions, send us a comment, okay? See you guys later. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to say, before you try a challenge like that, make sure that your taste buds are either dead, or you can really, really handle the heat more than That's you good. thought you could. Because I can, I can eat a spoonful of sriracha. I can eat a, ha a jalapeno pepper. I've ate a raw habanero pepper, but that was like five years ago. And I'm older now, and I don't know if changes in taste buds can come along with menopause, but probably because everything else does. But I have drank almost this whole thing. My lips are still red. And that's after wiping them off. It's stained right there. Like I said, I was eating this other soup that's not that hot. But I ate one of the noodles, and just within a moment... The back of my tongue started getting really hot and my lips started burning. So, it's very hot. If I can eat a six-inch noodle with sauce on it, it's starting to burn me down. Maybe if they were cooked a little bit longer and the noodles weren't quite so chewy, I might have been able to get more down. But there's no way. Hands down, I admit I'm a loser. I'm a weakling. And I couldn't get it done. So, what did you think of the I could honestly say I think I would rather sit and eat a pickled pig's foot. As opposed to having to she endure says that, that now until I offer it to her. Having to endure that heat again. I just can't. What did, what did you think of the taste of the tapatio? The tapatio was really good. I, I went ahead and took just a little taste of that. I'm good. I don't need no more milk. Flames out pretty much. I mean, I can still feel a little of the heat, but 
I just wanted to bring you guys back and apologize because I said I wasn't going to push myself. If I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. And that was a lot hotter than I could handle. So, yeah, I'm out. So, we'll be back tomorrow with the, hopefully, we got, these are our next, our busy days coming up. I did say if I still have this infection in my tooth, then I'm not going to get my COVID shot on Tuesday. I'll have to postpone it. Which means I'm not either. Because my body's already fighting one infection and I don't want to get the injection. My toe hurts. But, and the chef's got gout in his toe. So, um, we're going to try to get our dog to the vet tomorrow. And then if we get the injection, that'll be Tuesday. Chef's got a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. But somehow or another, we'll get, we'll get a couple of videos in the mix in there. But just wanted to come back and say that to you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Everybody have a great night, a great start to your week. I tell her, I, I think she needs to give me the shirt. Yeah, that's it. He's going to make me feel so bad. He's going to make me feel so bad. Anyway, guys, go over and check out Blue Ridge Appalachian, Appalachian Blue Ridge Cooking. Yeah, see if he can eat them. When they get their video up, I don't know how he's done. I haven't talked to him. We are not discussing it. We will find out when you guys find out. But if he does it, kudos to him. Yeah, because I can't do it. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.